So finally, we've got all we need to install our code transportation management. So let's do it. Start your virtual machine, um, check your network and enable it if it's disabled. Open a terminal and log in as root. But before we start the installer, let's copy a few directories we are going to use multiple times during our OTM installation. Go to the middleware home directory and copy the two directories as I'm doing here. Also copy the Oracle home directory. As root, execute the xhost command to enable Oracle user to open OTM installer window and then log in as Oracle. Unzip OTM installation media and use dot slash to start the setup process. Click next on the welcome screen and change the install folder to home slash oracle slash otm. Choose web and app server. On this screen, change all the server addresses to otm-server and all parts to 7777. That's seven four times.
On this screen, we just need to change the DB server FQTM to 127.0.0.1. Here, change Oracle Home by pasting the directory we copied before. And here, change the WebLogic Home path to the one we installed WebLogic on. That's home slash oracle slash middleware. Here we need to change the app server path and decrease app server memory to 1536 or adjust according to the resources available to you. Here we just need to change OHS home path, copy and paste the correct directory. Change the Tomcat memory to one and a half gigabyte. You can adjust this based on the resources you have. Paste the correct OHS server path. Make sure OHS instance home directory is correct. There's an extra Oracle WT1 that we need to remove there. And also change OHS component name to OHS1. Now those next few steps are very important. Please make sure you enter everything correctly or you'll have trouble starting OTM. The WebLogic system password should be change me, no spaces and no caps. App to web authentication password should also be change me. Glog DBA password is Glog DBA. Same for Glog load. Password is Glog load. Here, change OTM group name to O install. OTM user home should be already correct, home slash oracle. Keep no selected and click next. And we don't need to install any of the optional components, so just click next. Now we are almost done, just click install to kick off the installation process. And click next two times here to let the installer configure your OTM installation. I would recommend that you read the installation readme because it contains useful information and then click next. And finally click done to exit the installer. Now before we move on let's copy the docs folder as suggested by the readme. 
There's a docs.zip file on OTM installation media. Unzip and move the contents to home slash oracle slash OTM, as I'm doing here. Also, take this opportunity to delete the setup files folder. It's quite big and we don't need it anymore. So run rm minus rf slash setup files to delete it and free up a sizable portion of your virtual machine's hard disk. And with that, we conclude the OTM installation process, but we still have many things to do before we can start using our OTM test server and that's going to be covered on the next video.